I've always wanted to be a missionary since I was in the third grade and asked to go in 1977 and I was granted permission. But before I went, they suggested that I get some experience in maternal child medicine. So I went to Australia, studied nurse midwifery, and then went to Papua New Guinea immediately following graduation and uh, landed on Nissan in uh, February of 1979. Kathleen and I went to reopen uh, Nissan because they had temporarily closed it because Sister Celine Auten and Sister Denise had left the island. And we were both brand new. Um, and it was really exciting because we didn't know a lot about anything. And so we just set a course and asked some of the village people. There was a woman named Wilma that worked um, in the vocational school and Kathleen worked at the vocational school. And then I set about opening up the health center and upon our arrival, we delivered a baby. And the place was so dirty, we had to hurry up and clean a spot so we could uh, deliver this new infant. But what Kathleen and I did over the next three years was establish um, five maternal child clinics and immunized all children um, in sixth grade on under, uh, including the infants. And every child by the time we left had an immunization record. I'm not certain how many hundreds of children those were, but it was hundreds of children. And then um, we also started a prenatal clinic for the women that were pregnant. And um, we also extended the services over to Pinnapel Island, which was about a mile away, except for it took us about four hours to get there by boat, um, government trawler. Because they didn't know us, and because we didn't have any of the other missionaries with us, they were very standoffish in the beginning. Um, and what happened was we had a young woman come in. Um, it was her first baby, a very difficult labor. And um, the women decided that I did not know what I was doing. And so they decided to take care of her. And so they took her outside and they had her pushing way too early um, to have her baby. And I'd say she probably, they probably had her pushing for about three hours. Well, they realized that they couldn't do anything. And so they brought her back inside to me. And then um, she wasn't quite ready to have her baby. And when it came time for her to have her baby, I happened to have a vacuum extractor, which is a little device that we put on the baby's head. It's like a little suction thing and, and pulled the baby out. And um, they were quite amazed at this. And that was kind of like the turning point uh, for at least the villages that were around us. Because we saw some really sick children and we were able to cure them with the medicines that we brought. And we had some wonderful friends down in Australia who sent us a lot of antibiotics and medicines particularly that we could use with the kids. And so we were able to heal a lot of the illnesses. It was very rare that we sent somebody off, off the island um, to the hospital. We were pretty well able to take care of everything there. The government had tried three times to send healthcare workers there. And I was happy that Kathleen and I were able to have First of all, all births were documented, which they didn't have documentation. All the kids that were in sixth grade on under, uh, down to zero years, had uh, immunization records. Um, um, the women had prenatal care. We were able to transition it over to the government, and they took it over um, for us. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased about that, and the fact that we were able to um, established clinics on Pinnapel, which was the neighboring island, and then to catch up all the kids on their immunization records <clears throat> on Feed Island, which was 13 hours away by boat. Yeah, I'm really happy about what we did. The other thing that happened too, um, <clears throat> Kathleen and I were the last two Sisters of St. Joseph to be working on Nissan, and we invited the Sisters of uh, Nazareth to come work with us. And so we gave them the convent that had been used since the 40s. Um, so they lived there. And then Kathleen and I moved out to the airport where the new health center was and continued working out there and lived in a little house that the government had created for us. So when we left, we left the, um, the health care in the hands of the government 
and then the vocational training and the pastoral work to the, the indigenous group of women religious there. So yeah, it was good. It was very good work. <laughs>